Welcome to Word Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you. And I am Wumi Ademola. Last time, I shared with you the wonderful things that are going to start happening in your life when God surrounds you with His favor. I said, when God surrounds you with His favor, your requests will be granted, you will succeed with ease, and you will be preferred above others. I also promised you last week that today I am going to share with you the three things you need need to do so that you can always be surrounded with God's favor every single day of your life. So let's get right into it today. Number one, to be surrounded with God's favor every day of your life. From Psalm 512, we see the answer, you must commit to a lifestyle of righteousness. The verse says that God surrounds not just anybody with his favor, but the righteous. God surrounds the righteous with his favor. That's what we read in Psalm 512. And so the number one thing that you must do, friend, if you want to enjoy God's favor, is to commit to a life of righteousness, which is a life of obedience to the word of God. The Bible says in Leviticus 26 verse 3, and I'm going to also read verse 9. This is God speaking. He says, if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and obediently do them, then in verse 9 he says, I will turn toward you with favor and regard and make you fruitful and multiply you. So God says, when you obey him, then he will turn toward you with favor. So that's the number one prerequisite to enjoying God's favor all the days of your life. You know, Daniel, last time I read in Daniel 1, um, how that God gave Daniel favor, brought him into the tender favor, Daniel 1, 9, God brought him into the tender favor of the uh, master of the eunuchs well verse 8 the pr previous verse it helps us understand why daniel 1 8 the bible says daniel had resolved that he would not defile himself so when you resolve not to defile yourself with sin the consequence of that is god will surround you with his favor and so in verse 9 the bible says god allowed daniel because he resolved not to defile himself with sin god allowed daniel to receive favor and compassion from the palace master so likewise to enjoy god's favor all the days of your life resolve to live a life of righteousness do right by god do right by the word of god sin the bible says in proverbs 14 34 brings reproach but righteousness the bible says exalts a nation exalts anybody so if you want god's favor to surround you commit to a life of righteousness. Number two, for God's favor to always surround you, you must listen to God's instruction. This is so very important. You must allow God to lead you and guide you in every step, every decision you're going to take, every action that you're going to make. You must allow it to be directed 100% by the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Proverbs 8, 33, and I'm going to read all the way through 35. Listen carefully. The Bible says, listen to instruction and be wise. Don't ignore it. And by instruction there, most importantly, the instruction that comes to you from the Holy Spirit of God. And then it says in verse 34, anyone who listens to me, that is who listens to instruction, is happy watching at my doors every day, waiting by the post of my doorway, for the one who finds me, get this, finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. The one who finds instruction and the one who follows instruction, that is the person that obtains favor from the Lord. So make up your mind that you will not take any action or make any decision without first waiting and watching daily, like I just read to you in the verse, to receive instructions by God. Allow yourself to be led by the Spirit of God. Do not go ahead of Him. And as you listen to instruction, you will receive God's favor. Matter of fact, this was Esther's secret. This was why she was favored among all the other maidens and chosen to be the queen because Esther listened to instruction of Haggai, who was the custodian of the maidens. While other maidens were just you know, making decisions on their own, choosing things on their own that they thought the king would like, 
Ezra was wise enough to take advice and to listen to the instruction of the uh, king, the overseer over the eunuchs, and she only took what he advised, what he instructed her to take to the king, and that's why she was chosen. The Bible tells us in verse 15 of Esther 2, it says, Now when the turn came for Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her as his daughter to go into the king, the Bible says she requested nothing but what Haggai, the king's eunuch, the custodian of the women, advised. And the Bible says, as a result, Esther obtained favor in the sight of all who saw her and including the king. Verse 17 we read that the king loved Esther more than all the other women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight because she listened to instruction. She sought the advice of somebody who knew the king well. The other ladies did not seek advice. They just decided to give the king what they thought the king would like. But apparently he didn't. But Haggai, who knew the king, Esther was wise enough to seek instruction from him. And because she listened to his instruction, the Bible says she obtained favor from the king. And Haggai there is a type of the Holy Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit knows the best route to take. He knows the way that will bring the best results for you in business. He knows where you need to open shop. He knows where you need to apply. He knows where you need to buy a house. He knows every detail of your life even more than you do. And so if you really want to make a headway and enjoy success without ease and see your request granted, you want to always consult the Holy Spirit. We read it in Proverbs every single day. Do not take any single step. Don't take a decision, don't make an action until you first checked out with God and that way you are going to enjoy the favor of God all the days of your life. Last but not the least, if you want to enjoy God's favor, you must be somebody that seeks God's face more than his hand. Oh, I am very passionate about this. Very often, we love to seek the hand of God. We love to seek gifts from God. But I tell you, if you just make that small adjustment to begin to seek God's face more. God's presence, more than his presence, I tell you, you are going to be swimming in the favor of God. Because when you pursue intimacy with God, you will gain direct access to his favor. When you seek his face, I like to put it this way, you will automatically be surrounded by his favor. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, 15, in the light of the king's face is life and his favor is like a cloud of the latter rain. So just being in the presence of the King of Kings, the God of the whole universe, automatically the favor, his favor will just rain upon you. So seek to know God more and you will experience more of his favor. This was what Moses discovered in Exodus 33, verse 13. And I'm going to read verse 19 as well. It says, now therefore, this is Moses praying this prayer to God. And this is a prayer you want to, you want to pray more like this. You want to pray prayers more like this than, Lord, give me stuff. Now, God is our provider. You should ask him to, to supply your needs. But more than that, ask him to show you his face. And so Moses in Exodus 33, 13 said, Now therefore I beseech you, Lord, if I have found favor with you, show me your ways so that I may know you and stay in your favor. If you know God, you will stay in his favor. And then God answered Moses in verse 19. He says, I will make all my splendor pass in front of you and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, before you. I will show favor to those to whom I will show favor and I will have mercy on those who I will have mercy. So when you seek to know God more, God's going to show you his favor. So friend, do these three things and you are going to discover all the days of your life. Just imagine it, living in a life where things work for you and not against you and where you're chosen, you're the one that's accepted and not rejected. I do trust you were blessed today. Please, if you've not done so, subscribe to this channel, Knowing God Media, and also share this video on all your platforms. Get the word out and God bless you and God's favor surround you. Thank you so much.